Yo, what is up everyone? My name is Dom and we're here to talk about unusual options activity. Alright, let's kick it off with the uh, disclaimer. So, disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. The statements made in this programming are solely the opinion of the show and are not a specific inducement to make an investment. One must perform their own due diligence and realize that all investors carry risk. There's no guarantee of profit. Alright, everyone. Uh, kind of a rocky market here. Uh, you know, we're kind of getting uh, into a correction here. You know, it might be kind of a deep correction. You know, five to ten percent uh, uh, correction here. You know, I'm not really expecting you know 20 to 30 percent correction. You know, it just seems like things are a little too good in the economy. And you know, I think that uh, you know we're in earnings seasons. I think that earnings seasons are going to be good, or the earnings season is going to be good. So, all right, everyone. First one I want to bring up is Snap. Now. Uh, I was in some puts in Snap earlier. I did a little bit of a day trade on it, but you know, after further analysis after the close, uh, you know, I think I'm going to jump back in some puts here. Now, there's a lot of people buying some calls here. Snap has earnings on Thursday, I think it is. You know, there's a lot of people buying calls. You know, the last two quarters, Snap has gone up like 20 to 30 percent after earnings. You know, it, you know, as you can see here, you know, there's also some nice put volume here. Uh, there's some nice put volume and pretty much a lot of these uh, different strike uh, strike months here you know there's also some calls there's also some really far out of the money calls being bought but you know I'm trying to take the other the other side of the trade here uh, you know there's some nice put volume you know some far out of the money puts you know once again there's uh, 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 some more calls being bought here you know I'd say it's about you know even on you know people putting down money for calls and people uh, putting down money for puts you know 100 200 300 400 thousand dollar orders uh, I did see like a million dollar order uh, for some puts. So, you know, I'm going to be, I think I'm going to be jumping back into some puts here. You know, I'm kind of bearish on Snap because, you know, this is a high growth company and in a rising interest rate environment, uh, you know, where we're kind of, you know, reflating in a, in a sense, you know, uh, 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 getting some inflation, you know, uh, uh, money managers are dumping high growth stocks like snap you know I think they're gonna have really good earnings but you know my prediction on what the stock is gonna do is I think you know it could have you know it could spike up in the morning on a good earnings but I think you know eventually it is going to sell off you know throughout the day or you know the next day you know if we take a uh, if we take a look at the chart of snap here you know this thing has been showing some weakness here you know it peaked around uh, uh, 74 dollars a share you know traded down to 53 you know it's kind of been making you know it definitely has kind of made a double top here you know I'm honestly thinking we could maybe even trade back to this 50 level you know once again I day traded some puts and snap uh, you know upon further analysis I think I'm gonna be uh, uh, getting into some getting back into uh, some other puts tomorrow um, especially if there's more buying so you know you guys have to uh, you know make the decision there's a lot of call buying a lot of put buying you know I think I'm on the side of the puts so you know there's a lot of you know uh, uh, a lot of people buying calls and a lot of people buying puts you know you can't really just go off the unusual activity you know you kind of have to use your own fundamental research and you know use your own opinion on some of these things uh, just like the trade yesterday you know there's people buying a lot of calls but I saw a good put trade you know we uh, 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 we put on the puts and the stock was down huge today uh, so we had a nice profit in that one uh, yeah you know just an example of you know this kind of a, a choppy market here so next one I want to bring up is GM now this one is going to be on the call side here. You know, GM is back to around this uh, 50, uh, 55 level. I have a stock position in this one, so I probably won't be uh, buying calls here. But there are some good short-term volume here, uh, some nice orders down in the time of sales. You know, not a whole lot of put volume as you can see. You know, there's pretty much some nice volume on almost every single expiration month here. 6,000 contracts, open interest of 233. You know, pretty much every single one of these. Uh, expiration months here you know there was some call buying personally me I would wait for GM to pull back a little more you know this thing has had a huge run here uh, you know so it looks like it's kind of breaking the 50 day here so it's kind of showing some weakness you know I would personally I might I might be looking to reload on some GM you know around this 55 level if it gets if it gets down to 45 I would definitely be adding but there you know I just want to let you guys know that there are uh, 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 is some bullish activity here you know some people jumping in and some people buying calls so thanks for everyone who's been subscribing i really appreciate it make sure to leave a comment down below if you got any questions and we'll see you in the next one everyone